The Minecraft Jungle Temple has been in the game since version 1.3.1, which was released well over 10 years ago in August of 2012, and since then, a number of blocks and items have been added to Minecraft. They've more than doubled from well under 400 to well over 800 blocks at this point, and it's, it's just going to keep growing as time goes on, really. And with so many new blocks, I mean, the Jungle Temple is just overdue for a refresh. So... Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I should probably at least say who I am, since I didn't really get to that in the intro. Uh, hey, I'm Caddyat, your local idiot and builder. Not really extraordinaire, but anyway, uh, let's get to what's on screen. So, like I said, I'm refreshing the jungle temple, and, and right now the first step I'm doing here is I am just going through and I am laying out a wool frame. As you can see, I've decided to go a little bit larger um, than the original design, I've laid out a frame roughly around where the actual building will sit, and the actual building is going to stay within the original parameters. However, all the outer things you see, uh, it's kind of like our outer wall, it's, it's just some things, I, space I wanted to add to kind of add more. If I have more space, it allows me to do more cool things. And that's the idea here. So, it's not going to be the building, but it'll be kind of environmental, I would say. That re not really environmental, but ambiance, I guess that's the word. Anyway, to what we're doing now. As you can see, we've just zoomed in here, and I'm playing with these beams. And this is one of the hard things, is figuring out how to add the most depth to the wall. Because a flat wall doesn't necessarily look good. So as you can see, I'm just playing with this right now, and eventually I'm going to end up settling on... I think it was stone brick wall blocks as the corners. I'm, I'm going to get rid of this ugly cyan terracotta. It's not gray, it's cyan. I'm, I'm going to get that right. It, it's Come on, do the walls so I can, I, can, I can say I was right. Not those walls, those walls. Yeah, that was there on the corners. And that's to add some more depth. Um, and then I'm going to do the exact same thing over here with a, a bigger arch. Um, and I, we're going to have vines in the way of our eyes because... I clearly didn't check my replay mod camera when I did this. Uh, it was late, anyway. Next, <laughs> we're moving on to the roof trim already. I don't know how we've gotten here so quick. Anyway, I'm doing a roof trim outline with these same blocks. Oh, oh, he's... Yeah, I should have checked my replay mod crud. This is me looking and trying to figure out what I'm doing as I outline, trying to figure out what the best way to outline this is, and doing absolutely nothing. Um. So how was your day? He's, he's probably going to do this for a bit. Yeah, anyway. Roof outline. <laughs> oh, that was great. I'm leaving that in. Uh, anyway. So now we go on to the upper level. And here, it there's not really an upper level. It's just some windows to let light in. It's And then we're going to basically repeat the roof pattern with the stone bricks and the andesite. You know, mixing it all in with different textures. I love texturing. Sometimes it's easier to do it after, sometimes it's easier to do it before. But if you texture, your builds stand out a lot better and a lot cooler. I should also mention the fence posts on top of the um, andesite blocks. Those are to add like little points on the end of the roof, little like juts up, I think. I, I don't know how to describe it, I'm, I'm just going to describe it. Oh, now we're onto the roof. The roof, yep, this is just going to be a bunch of deep slate blocks. There's some mud mixed in and some moss to add kind of the jungle vibe. I figured i got to moss it up a bit. And I'm just going to go around the roof slowly. My guy's making his way around. Oh, and now we go to the upper roof. Now the upper roof is a two up increased slope. So right now I'm just framing it out, trying to figure out if the height's right. And then I'm going to fill it all in and go back in and texture here. So once it's filled in, come on, guy. I'm rooting for you. Finish it up. Finish it up. I'm rooting. Now I go through the stairs and other blocks to add more texture and depth to the build. See, more moss, some mud, all sorts of deep slate, cobbled, tiled, whatever. If it goes on, it goes on. And it just does this. And... I really should have recorded better replay mod footage. Anyway, I'm going to come up here in the center, and as you can see, I just added a little jut to 
kind of the tip of the roof, kind of like how the Jingle Temple has that little up bit in the center. I wanted to kind of leave something like that. And, and now we come down to the floor. Now I wasn't just going to leave this this basic cobble and crud. And I never actually did the interior of the temple, the, the lower area. Yeah, that can just stay how it is. I don't really care about that. I just wanted to do the upper area. But I came in with stone bricks and moss and, you know, added a different block so it's not just one texture of cobblestone with the occasional moss on it. And now I'm coming over here to the little outer bits I talked about earlier. I said that I added a little bit of perimeter to kind of add the ambiance. And here I'm building little torches. So, they're just, I guess they're not little, they're, they're big. They're really big torches on all the corners, and they're just going to be there kind of as a ambient thing, a majigger. I don't know how well this would translate into like an actual world generation, just because of how I've, I've built it. But I imagine with a little bit of tweaking, if Mojane ever decided, huh, we really like this caveat guy, they could add it fairly easily. So, now I come in here, and I do the exact same thing as I did with the other area, and build down, and add a little stair portion, gotta get it down to the ground, but not all the way down to the ground, we're gonna have to terraform for that, and I will, but you know, if this were to be a generated structure, then it, it who knows how that would work. I'm not a, I'm not a coder, I'm, I'm a dude who builds things on the internet that people maybe watch. Anyway come in here and do the exact same thing over here laying out the blocks and coming back through and texturing it up and uh just like that we have basically finished the entirety of the temple makeover so let's hop into a bit of a life play portion here and uh see what we have what we've done yeah so here we are in game now i mean as you can see just in front of me we have the the temple um <laughs> I really like how these torches came out. Torches, lamps, whatever. They're big things. Um, I guess it didn't show that. I added a bunch of like glow lichen and leaves around in the time lapse just to add a little bit extra. The vines are already growing all over the place. And I kind of added some paths because why not? But that wouldn't be something that actually generates if this became a generated structure, which it 100% won't. It don't work for Mojang. Um... Yeah, it's a structure, and that wasn't touched down there because I said, I'm not dealing with that, that's not fun. I, If you're new to my channel, uh, when I do interiors, I do them, and when I don't want to do interiors, I don't do interiors. Um, yeah, that's a temple. I don't know what to say. I mean, get some nice angles of it, like, oh, check that out, and then... Boom, check that out. Who doesn't want to check out my temple? Well, anyway. Yep, it's me. I, I've been Caddyat, and uh, this has been my jungle temple slash jungle pyramid. That's what they call it now, right? Uh, revamp. And uh, if you want to see more like this, leave down in the comments what structure I should revamp next. And uh, hit subscribe. Yeah, I guess that's all I can tell you about that. Uh, anyway, again, I've been Caddyat. I will see you in the next one. Bye!